Uh, hello, my dear friends. Let me show you today this uh, wonderful boombox. Let me show you today my video, which is going to be a little bit longer than usual because I'm going to describe it in detail. I'm going to give you more details today, you know. I'm going to make this video in English language, you know. Uh, sorry, my Russian friends who are watching this. You have to learn a little bit uh, more of my English language today. And of course, you have uh, more interesting videos now in YouTube uh, as my this video. Well, I hope this uh, more interesting video will reach very soon 100 million clicks. Okay, so let us start. Um, this model uh, was produced in 1982. Yeah, the first model of the portable component system of JVC was produced in 1980, yes, it was called uh, PC-5, yes, and the model <coughs> PC-5 was a little bit <coughs> bigger and heavier than this one, but in 1982 the producer said as we want just to bring this model more to the market to make it more portable, you know, and uh, so that you can carry it on uh, along with you outside your houses, yeah. So JVC <clears throat> Japan Victor Company has called this model PC, you know, PC means portable compo as you see it here, portable component system, yeah, component that means it is com combined by the radio, by the cassette deck and by the speakers and you can just carry them. The handle is very solid, uh, the boombox or compo system is very heavy, it's more than 10 kilograms, you know, <clears throat> but it is really really nice i myself i was skeptical about that model you know just i have bought this model in ebay but um uh, several years ago i just was watching it uh, and i said oh, no it is not just a classical boombox it is not just uh, it's just looking a little bit uh, heavy and clumsy and square with this handle on top uh, but now i find it absolutely fascinating yeah uh, at the moment I love it very very much more than any other model I have had before anyway let us uh, have a look at this uh, model from the front from the sides <coughs> by the by the way the sides are nearly 18 centimeters very wide and they're giving you a very good base and from the back you know on the back side you have this cover you know and this cover is very important just to cover all your cables you know which are inside as i will show you uh, later on in my next video about this back side how it is working inside i will try to open it and just show you the inside i was very lucky to buy it you know with this uh, um, cover and with the foil inside yeah and here also the foil yeah such models are usually um, uh, present on eBay but uh, very often without the, the cover you know the cover is very important here just to cover to uh, have a better look and uh, just to cover all the cables inside if you happen to find this very model PC 11 with a cover and with a foil grab it because it is very very rare you will never find it like that so it will have uh, value for the future anyway so this is the back side, <coughs> looks quite impressive, very clean, the detachable speakers, you know, just with the cables coming into the cover, you know, here as well, yeah. And uh, yes, from the back you have the aerial, you know, antenna is working. It has this metal thing on the back, I don't know what it is for, it was there when I bought it. Okay, and you have the jack for DIN for the tape recorder and you have also the line in here from the external source like the record player. Yeah, very good. And also the power cord as well. Okay, which goes here inside. Yeah. Okay, as to the front, you know, the front is absolutely amazing. It was made with a lot of design thought you know the designers were really really uh, trying to make it very attractive you know <coughs> it's a lot of chrome here also on the speakers 
lot of chrome here in this middle part, you know, and also in the lower part of the cassette deck. <coughs> if you just eject the cassette deck, it is ejecting softly. Uh, very impressive, you know, very well. The tape deck is working with metal, you know, also it is working with chrome and uh, with a normal cassette. It has got the system, NR system, for better quality of the sound. When I just uh, put on the cassette uh, next, uh, you will hear the difference, uh, you know, you can hear it immediately. Yes, of course, it uh, has got all the panel here with chrome. It is very, very impressive, written everywhere, everything here in small letters, but very attractive. So the, uh, you have the two microphones here, the microphone attentator, I don't know what it is for. The counter, record mute, you have two level indicators left and right, and the uh, regulator for the record input left and right as well, of course. Okay, you have also Dolby system here, and uh, in the equalizer in the middle part, you have the phone jack, also source tape, you have also tuner auxiliary for the CD player or record player, you have the equalizer, one, two, three, four, five, and balance left, right, you know, and the volume control, minimum, maximum, and also the power on and off. Yes, on the radio you have four bands, a stereo receiver, you have the tuning here, the fine tuning here, it is frequency modulation, you have the middle waves, you have the long waves, short waves, and stereo and motor switch on and off, yes. I will show you next as to how the radio is working. I will show you next how the cassette is working, you know, the tape deck. Very impressive with the uh, level peak indicators, you know. And also we'll describe you more about the uh, speakers, you know. And the speakers have got the numbers, you know, it is 723 at the end. It is written here and it is 722 and it is written here yeah. okay so 22 722 723 yeah. very very impressive unit as i told you and uh, yes i really love it i really like it very much you know and uh, yes i hope you have enjoyed it and if you li like it too just uh, Pass it on, share it, and uh, yes, if you have any question, just ask me. Yeah, I will be really looking forward uh, to any discussion uh, with you in the future about this model, which I find now absolutely fantastic at the peak of the golden era of the 80s. All right, again, thank you very much for your attention. I wish you a very good time. <laughs>